Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today I have this gorgeous Jaguar. Uh, this is a 2003 Jaguar XKR convertible. And what makes the XKR so special is a supercharger. Uh, you know, never mind the giant brakes and, you know, other little performance bits that go into it. It's turning that 4.2 liter V8 into a 390 horsepower fire breathing monster uh, that just makes this thing so awesome. Uh, you can see it's finished in an absolutely gorgeous color combination. It's bright red outside, uh, light beige leather inside. Nobody builds a more beautiful coach than Jaguar, and that certainly holds true for this car. Uh, look at the big wheels and tires on there. The sleek, gorgeous, leaping cat design of the uh, of the body. It's long, it's low, it's lean, and it's just absolutely gorgeous to look at in every way. Uh, you can see some of the things that makes the XKR special. The big twice pipes at the bottom, uh, the deck lid spoiler on the, uh, on the rear end there. Uh, look at the beautiful touches like the chrome around the lights. You know, Jaguar sort of de-chromed this mod a little bit to get away from their, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it, stigma of being over-chromed. Uh, but they still managed to get a few nice bits and pieces on there to give the car the look that it needs. You see that R badge on the lower fender, uh, very special wheels and tires. Look at the size of those brakes, they're like dinner plates down there. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, big vents in the hood letting that uh, uh, 390 horse 4.2 breathe. Uh, beautiful headlight assembly, special uh, mesh grill there at the front. The car is just absolutely gorgeous to look at. So having said that, let's look in the trunk. I know, but you gotta do it. Now, this is another thing that makes the car special, is a very big trunk in this class. A lot of these uh, convertibles, you know, they're, you know, big enough inside. You open the trunk, you could fit a pile of loose leaf paper or a small automatic handgun in there, and that's about it. Uh, here you've got something you can put golf clubs in, you can go to Costco, uh, a very nice size trunk in this car. Uh, you see it has the CD changer, and that's for your navigation drive. So everything lovely and as it should be there. Uh, I have the top cover installed, so I'm not going to run the top. You can look at the photos for that. Uh, it's the original top. It's in uh, good serviceable condition. A little worn around the edges, but seals well and looks perfect. Have a look under the hood. Here is the magic on this car. Again, 4.2 liters. Uh, V8 supercharged 390 horse. This thing is an absolute screamer. Uh, I mean, you, you put the throttle down and <laughs> it absolutely responds, as it should. Uh, you know, Jaguar was one of the first with a real big horsepower number. It's not really well known. You know, they were uh, pre-AMG, pre-BMW-M. Uh, you know, BMW M. They were putting out some outrageous horsepower figures. And this car is testament to that. And look at the way those functional vents work through there. The, uh, the wind comes through to keep that motor cool. Uh, big 4-cam V8. It's just a fantastic engine in this car. And this one has been well taken care of. Only 60,000 miles and runs exceptionally well. All right, let's hop in. Beautiful little chrome half moon door handles. Uh, inside is what you'd expect. It's all leather and wood. Uh, any good Jaguar is. Beautiful fit and finish. Lovely quality. Uh, very nice leather seats there. Everything looking nice and proper. You have some rear seats, which, you know, I don't know how your Canadians are going to feel about those. They're going to get back there. They're going to make it work, but uh, they might be a little bit cut off at the knees. But, you know, in a pinch, they're there. And that's uh, about all you can hope for fire this thing up to life. I love the gauge cluster with the three holes. That sort of harkens back to earlier Jaguars. Oh, I love that sound. Plenty of wood uh, to go around. You've got a beautiful wooden leather steering wheel. You've got a Jaguar cat staring at you as you start it up. Uh, you've got, uh, of course, your 170 mile an hour speedo, your tack, your temp, and your fuel. That's about all you need. Uh, here you can see it as Alpine Sound. These are your windows. Nice little tiny, teeny bit of wood there. Let's fit it in anywhere you can. And uh, everything just absolutely lovely. So uh, let's see what we have going on over here. Now we've got um, uh, up top, you've got a compass in the uh, headrest. Very, very nice. Uh, let's see. Let me turn our lights off here. 
Okay, uh, here you've got your Jaguar navigation. Uh, very nice in the dash. Uh, it's got a few little scuffs on the screen, but you know, you can see it just fine, particularly when it's on. Uh, down low, you've got your uh, automatic climate control, your heated seats. This is traction control on and off. Uh, of course, AM FM cassette with the CD changer in the trunk. Got a beautiful Jaguar R logo on the shifter. Uh, and of course, this uh, gated J shifter that is uh, absolutely uh, you know, homogenous to Jaguars. Here you've got some cup holders that actually appear to be working well. That's shocking. Those things are almost always broken. These cars, you've got an ashtray. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They work. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, again, this beautiful burl wood over here. Uh, you've got some uh, service records in the glove box and everything really nice. It is a full power top in this car, so if I were to take the uh, top cover off there, I'd press this guy here and they would come up and come forward and be ready to go. Look at this, I tell my detailers to adjust these vents. Let's make them symmetrical. They never do. They're always aimed in 50 different directions. Look at that. It's so much better. Oh god, that one's facing at his foot. Alright. Okay, that's better. Now I'm happy. All right, again, so beautiful leather and wood steering wheel with multifunction controls. You got your automatic climate control going, and uh, we're ready to go. So, you know, this uh, XK, it represents a terrific value in the used car world because, uh, you know, they really depreciated fast from their, uh, this thing would have been probably 90, 100 grand, and now it's available for, of course, a fraction of that, and it can do this. <laughs> I absolutely love it when that big supercharger kicks in, puts you back in your seat, tons of horsepower. I mean, it's just not very gentlemanly, you know, I mean, I expect to be wearing my riding gloves and, you know, heading down to the country club to, you know, I don't know what they do down there, I haven't been to one, I guess you golf, maybe you ride a horse or something, play lacrosse or bocce ball. Uh, but, you know, there it is. So it's sort of this gentlemanly, sleek, lovely, uh, you know, vehicle with, with just the heart of a monster. And that's what makes it so much fun. Oh, God, I've got Miatas and bicyclists and pedestrians, so I can't really hammer it. <sighs> anyway, um, what can I tell you? 2003 Jaguar XKR, absolutely stunning vehicle in every way. There we go. Wait, we're freeing up here. You can just hear that big supercharger kick up. No, I'm not going to go wide open. There's too many, too many people around. Uh, but anyway, you get the point. 2003 Jaguar XKR convertible, 390 horsepower, supercharged V8, six-speed automatic transmission built by ZF. Uh, drivetrain is just bulletproof. Leather, wood, luxury. This thing is just a terrific cruiser. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call. 239-649-7300 on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.